Good morning, world. This is Ivan Amir here again. It's going to be another video. I thought it'd be cool to make another one-hour video because I have a lot on my mind. So today is your lucky day, world. I'm going to do a marathon of videos. So my my recent video that I, just, that I made at like 3 o'clock in the morning earlier just got uploaded. So while I'm making this video, you guys are enjoying that show. You probably you guys are probably, I don't know, towards the end of part one right now of my recent video that I made. I just finished watching it like an hour ago, obviously. Yeah, sorry about that. I, th I, th I heard someone coming downstairs. So yeah, so I thought it'd be cool to make a quick one-hour video. It's 8 o'clock right now. I made my, my, my earlier video around 3 o'clock in the morning. And I uploaded like an hour. I uploaded it like just recently. And you guys are watching the, uh, the video right now as I speak, obviously. By the time you watch this video, you would have already watched. Uh, you probably will be just about done finishing my last video. My recent video that I, that I made, obviously. So I'll, I'll make a quick one-hour video. And then I'll upload it and I'll go to bed and sleep. It'll be like 9 o'clock when I'm done. I'll make a nice one-hour video. I'll upload it, go to bed and sleep. And then, and then I'll wake up again around, I don't know, 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening. And I'll make a... Uh, I'll wake up. I'll set my alarm for 4. Wake up at four, then I'll make another another video. Obviously, that way you get three videos today. So you got my recent video that I made. You have this video, and you have my video that I'm gonna make in the afternoon earlier today. That way I keep you guys happy. Before I pay this fee, cry my eyes on a piece of my wife. Obviously, I'm gonna keep saying this. You better enjoy. Yeah, I'm pumping a lot of listening videos. Listening videos, you guys. But you guys better enjoy this, man. Because once I'm king, I'm not making any videos for you, man. I'm not even going to make listening videos for you guys. You see what I'm saying? As once I am king, I'm taking off the throne. I'm not making any videos for you. I'm peacing out. Give me a sec. I'm going to see if someone's outside. It's outside my, my room. Give me a sec here. Sorry about that, guys. I just went to see if there was someone uh, outside my room. I heard noise. Noises. Hey, never mind. Forget what I said. Yeah. So I thought it would be cool to make a one-hour video. I'm very tired right now, but I'm nice enough to pump out. I have a lot in my mind I want to talk about. Obviously. I'll make a nice one hour, a quick one hour video. I know one hour is nothing for Ivan Amir, but you know what I'm saying? While you guys are enjoying my, my recent video that I made as I speak right now, and you enjoy this video, obviously, I, 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 I thought it'd be cool to pump out a marathon. I usually do on average two videos a day, but today I'll do three videos. So you have my recent video, you have this video, and I'll make one in the afternoon. And after that, I'm done. And I'll watch my show, obviously, and I will go to the store and get my smokes, and I'll watch my uh, my third video, which is the video I'm going to make this afternoon, this evening, whatever it is I'm going to make. I'll, I'll set my alarm, for, I'll go to bed after this around 9, and I'll set my alarm for 4, and at 4 o'clock I'll wake up and I'll make my, my final video for today. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my, my, my recent videos that I made talking about Sky Source. Uh, I'm gonna make some changes from my from, from, from when I start my company. Me and VJ take 61%, Amazon takes 39%. We take 60 and the one we take 1% 1 of our money, our earnings, and we split it with the actors, the directors, and the uh 17. So I'll give John Favreau his 34 million dollar signing bonus. Is six point eight million yearly salary, three point five million yearly salary, two fifty thousand dollar bonus after film is completed, two thousand dollar gift card, two fifty thousand dollar royalty check for the releases of all the five movies. It's a good deal for him. He gets twenty thousand dollars worth of commercial money, and he gets zero point two percent of the profits. The the money that me and made the profits, not the sales. No. I'm not giving I'm not giving you 0.2% of the sales. No, I'm giving you 0.2% of the profits. The profits that me and VJ made. So if me and VJ make 10 billion off the movie, John Favreau will take 0.2% of that. You see what I'm saying? He takes 0.2% of that, which is a good, I don't know, that's a good like $20 million around there. $20, $30 million. I don't know. Around the $20, $30 million, John Favreau. My guess is John Favreau will make around that, I don't know. 20 million range maybe in royalties for 2.2 percent for because me and vj are gonna make i don't know how much money me and vj are gonna make off the movie man because zans might even do 40 billion in sales and me and vj might make 15 billion off the movie i don't know if we make 50 million off the, off the movie john fire was gonna make is like 35 30 40 million dollars around there i'll make but my guess is john fire will make his his 10 to like 15 20 25 30 million at least from, from from zero to for if it, if he takes home zero point two percent, he'll make it around that range. I don't know. It just depends on how much money Vijay makes. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. And Dave Filoni, I'll give him zero point one percent. His fifteen million dollar signing bonus, two point one million dollar salary, and he gets the same two thousand dollar gift card. He gets his what? His uh, thirty five hundred gas card. He gets his twenty thousand dollars worth of commercial money, two fifty thousand dollar royalty check for the releases, two fifty thousand dollar bonus at the full complete. That's good for Dave Filoni, and you give him zero point one percent, which is a good what? Dave Filoni will make around that five, ten, fifteen million range, maybe eighteen million range from, from all for, for all the movies. It just depends how much money we make. The more money me and VJ make, the more money John Favreau and Dave Filoni make. Obviously, I'm not giving them a piece of the profits for the merch. They're not worth it. I'm giving them a piece of the profits for the movie, and that's it. But the movie the movie profits. Hey, John and Dave, I'm not giving you 0.2% of the sales. No. If you give John and Dave 0.2% of the sales, they're going to make a lot of money. And they're ripping you off. You never, ever give them 0.2% of the sales. No. You give them 0.2% of the profits. As in Hollywood, most of the times, the actors get, get a piece of the profits. They don't get a piece of the, the sales. No. They, they, not the gross, no, you get the gross sales, no, you give them a piece of the profits. So if me and VJ make our nice 10 billion off the movie, because a high chance me and VJ might even make 10 billion off Zanus for the movie alone, and we might even make another 8 billion dollars off the merch. Me and VJ might even make 18 billion dollars off the, off the movie and merch, man. Something crazy, yeah. If me and VJ make 10 billion off the merch, Dave Floyd and John Favre will make around that 16, 17 to 28, 30 million dollars around there. John Favre will make. My guess is 0.2% for John Favre was probably around that 27 million around million range for him. Before I said 40, 50, no. It's most likely around that 26, 27 million range. John Favre will be make, make around there. 25 million he'll make around there. Dave Floyd might make maybe 16 million, 15 million bucks. It's a lot of money. As I'm easy to compete with Hollywood, so I'm saying. Here. It's a lot of money. And the Hollywood actors. The bigger A actors get their 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 percent on average. 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is very, very rare. High chance I'm not going to pay them that because I have to create room to pay John Favreau 0 0.2 and Dave Filoni 0 0.1. That's why you have three big A's. So it's high, high. It's highly unlikely I'm going to give them 0 0.5, 0 0.4 because the highest amount of money I'm, the highest I'm going for my move for for, for 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 what for the actors is one percent. For, 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 for when I when I when I divide the profits, hey look guys, if you, if, you, if if these actors, you know what I'm saying? There's a high chance these because these actors are sharks. There's a high chance these actors might even try and ask for one percent. 
Yo, know, Ivan, what if you gave us 1% each? I'm like, look, man, like, if you think I'm fucking, if you think I'm going to give you 1% of my money, you're fucking crazy. The moment I give you 1%, you rip, 1% each, you rip me off. If you think I'm going to give you, like, 1% each and I take home, like, 58%, you're crazy. I'm not giving you that. You see what I'm saying? You got, you're not worth it. You're not even worth taking a piece, taking even a piece of my, of the royalties at all. I'm um, nice enough to give you 1%, to take 1% of my money and divide it with you guys. That's good enough. Making your nice 10 million, 15, 18, 20, 30 million dollars in profits is more than enough. As in Hollywood, you don't make this on average. You don't, you don't even get a piece of the profits for most of your movies. You get your flat salary and that's it. There's exceptions where some bigger A's and sometimes they get a piece of the profits. They make a lot of money, obviously. But on average, they don't make that, man. They get their, night, they get their flat 15, 20, 12 million bucks and that's it. You see what I'm saying, here? That's what I'm giving. But these actors are not going to be, they're not going to try and get 1% because they know I'm never going to agree that. They're going to accept my, so, oh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a deal. You're, you're being very generous. You're, you're taking 1% of your money and give us, yes, I'm taking 1% of my money. I shouldn't even give you a piece of the pie. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give you a nice 0 0.1, 0 0.2% of the pie. So if Scarlett Johansson and Keanu Reeves and Ben Affleck become greedy and then they smell blood in the water. Oh, Ivan, what if you give me 1%? My like, guys, you're being greedy. You're not even worth 1% of my royalties. You're, you're being too greedy now. I'm already paying you more than enough money. They won't do that, though. Because I'm paying them more than enough money, man. If I offer Ben Affleck his, his, his $22 million salary and his what? And his 15 point, and his 14 point million dollar sign bonus and his $7 million bonus out of the complete and I give him 0 0.2%, he won't, he, he'll set my live and it's a deal. Because he's going to make a nice, what, I don't know, $25 million in, in, in royalties, Ben Affleck. $20 million, $25 million in royalties. Hey, Ben Affleck, I'm paying you, what, your 60, I don't know, $64 million with the royalties. That's a good deal, as you're never going to make this in Hollywood. In Hollywood, Ben Affleck probably makes like $15, $12 million for his movies. That's what I'm easily competing with Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, I'm easily going to be with Hollywood. That's all my company. Now with the royalties, my company is now blowing Hollywood out of the water. Easily. So, there's exceptions where some ace actors make a lot of money. Like, like uh, what's his name? Tom Cruise took 10% of the profits, man. And he's making like $60 million to $100 million for himself. Obviously. But because my movies are going to gross way more than these Hollywood movies... 0.2% is, 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 is a lot of money for, for the actors. Because my movies are going to gross billions. My movies are going to gross billions, guys. Before I said Zayn's will do $11 billion. No, man. I'm, I'm wrong calculations. Zayn's is going to do $20 billion plus easily. Because you're looking at the whole world buying it. Just like my book is going to do like $45, $50 million. Zayn's is going to do, like, probably $40 billion in sales. Something crazy, man. He's looking at the whole world ordering it, man. $40 billion in sales. And then me and VG are taking 60% of the profits, man. So, me, chances are me and VG are going to make, like, I don't know, $12 billion around there off the movie alone, man. And another, like, maybe $8 billion off the merch. Before I said me and VG are going to make $4.5 billion, no, man. Chances are we're going to make... I'll do the calculations tonight. I'll do this, I don't know, I'll do a billion, if a billion people bought my movie for 160 bucks, you calculate the sales, obviously, and you calculate the, the taxes, obviously, so if, 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 if it comes to 40 billion dollars, 40 million dollars after taxes is 24 billion dollars, obviously, then you have a cost, obviously, you cut down the cost, obviously, yeah. Yeah, me and VG might even make 10 billion. Off the uh, movie, man. $12 billion off the movie alone. That doesn't even include the merch. If we make $12 billion, That's why I believe John Favreau and Dave Filoni will make their... Dave Filoni might make maybe $17 million around their $16 million bucks, And John Favreau will make like $28 million or some of that. $25 million in royalties. So Scarlett Johansson and Ben Affleck will probably make around that $24, $25 million in royalties for the profits. And then Keanu Reeves will make $30, like $5 maybe million. Before I said $60, Seventy million. That's highly unlikely. But most likely, make like maybe thirty-five million calories extra from the royalties. Hence, why my car. And with that, I'm easily competing with Hollywood. See what I'm saying here? I'm easily competing with Hollywood. 
So my deal for Keanu Reeves is he gets his $27 million salary at the start of production. He gets his 20.9 million signing bonus. That's a good deal for him. Before he starts work, he gets his 20.9 million bonus in his bank, obviously. And he gets his 10 million bonus after the film is completed. He gets his commercial money. He gets his his two thousand dollar gift card, his thirty five hundred dollar gas card, his one point five million dollars in for the merch, obviously with the merch money, and he gets zero point three percent of the profits. Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson, I'll pay her zero point two percent of the pro of the pie, and I'll give Ben Affleck zero point two, pay her a twenty three million dollar salary and her fifty point nine million dollar signing bonus, and her seven million dollar bonus after food was completed. $1.5 million for the merch. It's a good deal for her, obviously. And you give her her $2,000 gift card, her $3,500 gas card, her commercial money, $40,000 worth of commercial money, obviously. And she gets her, what, her speaking earnings for the world tour? I don't know, $100,000, $150,000 in speaking earnings. That's good for her. It's a good deal for her, obviously. You give her 0.2%. Obviously, and then Ben Affleck, I'm, I'll give him, pay him his $22 million, his 14 point nine sign bonus, and she gets his $2,000 gift card, numbers her gas card, commercial money, speaking earnings for the world tour, $1.5 million for the merch, $2,000 gift card, and 0.2% of the royalties. It's a good deal for Ben Affleck. And that's my final offer. I'm not going to hire enough for them. And then John Favreau, I'll give him his 0.2% of the royalties too, and Dave Filoni gets his 0.1%. And that's like about 0.9% of the royalties. And the rest of the, the, of the, of the pie, you, you, you give it to the, the seven team and the small ace actors. So John Cezanne, you can pay him like 0.03% in royalties. And you pay him his $13 million salary. He's walking away with a couple million in his bank with royalties. It's like it's a good, like, I don't know, $2.5 million in royalties for, for John Cezanne. That's good for him. Then Paul Betty, you can give him 0.01%. 0.02 if you want. 0.01. You gotta create room for your seven team. And, and John says, yeah, I can give him 0.02, 0.03, which is a good like two million bucks for him. That's good for him. 2.5 million bucks and 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 and, and one million dollars for those guys in royalties. That's that's good paycheck for, for a small ace actor. Um and yeah. So even though the small ace actors get a piece of the pie, they get like a nice eight hundred Seven hundred, a million, million, five, two million, three million royalties. It's not the kind of money that the, the, the bigger ones are making. The bigger ones are making their tens of millions. They're fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty million dollars in royalties plus. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. They don't make the kind of money that the bigger ones make. That's gonna be. That's. I'm gonna be very, very strict. They don't make the kind of money the bigger ones make because they're not. They're not bigger A-listers. Only the bigger ones for my company make a lot of money. Make make the dough, man. The bigger the small A actors make the dough, but they don't make the kind of money the bigger ones make. Because the bigger ones are big, they're the big they're your stars. They're your big, big stars, and they create a lot of buzz. The big ones build buzz. Whereas the smaller ones build sub buzz, but they don't build the kind of buzz the bigger ones. They don't like guys like John Cazenzi and Paul Benny are not gonna build the kind of buzz that Keanu Reeves Ben Affleck and Scott Johansson will build. You see what I'm saying? Those three actors are going to build a lot of buzz for my greatest game movie. Hence why they're worth the dough. But they're not worth taking like 1% each of my roles. You see what I'm saying? The moment they do that, they're ripping you off. And you're being way too generous. And, and you're ripping you off. I'm not going to give you 1% of my money. No. I'm nice enough to take 1% of my money and split it with you guys. And that's it. I'm not going to hard on that, man. Obviously. And then your secretaries, you give them 0.01%, which is like, I don't know, a million bucks in royalties. That's good for them. And the other three, you give them 0.02%. And that's how the 1% will be split, pretty much. And you can give the director for the Great Escape movie 0 0.0, like, 2% if you want. He makes a nice, like, $1.5 like, million for himself. If you want, want $2 million for himself. It's a good deal. And the uh, the assistant director, you can give him 0.01%. So going to the tour, I'll give him 0.01%. So he'll make a nice, like, I don't know, million bucks. A million, million, two, million, three in royalties by Motor with his $1.65 million salary. It's a good deal for him. That's a good paycheck for assistant director. All right, I mean, that's a good deal. He'll accept my deal, obviously. And then Peter Jackson, I'll pay him his 0.6%. 
and I'll give him his pay him his one hundred like seven million dollars in New Zealand money, which is eighty five Canadian, right? I'll pay Peter Jackson that kind of money. That's good. That's a good deal for him. Peter Jackson's gonna make his nice. 140, 150, 160, 180, 200 million dollars plus. Just depends how much money I make, man. But my guess is Peter, 0 0.2 percent for Peter Jackson is probably close to that 100 million dollar range. 80, 90, 100 million dollar range for Peter Jackson. So my guess is Peter will probably make about the same amount of money he made for uh, Lord of the Rings. Probably around that 180 million range. Because 0 0.2 percent is probably about 80 million for Peter Jackson in, in royalties. But it could be more. It could be 90. It could be 100. It could even be 120. It just depends how much money I make. If I make like 12 billion off from the movie, obviously, off Zane's, Peter Jackson's making around that 100 million dollar range, man. 100 plus million dollar range around there, right? 80, 90, 100 million range he's making. So it just depends how much money me and VJ make. The, hey, Peter, the more money me and VJ make, the more money you'll make off, your, off the royalties. The more money John Favreau and Dave Filoni will make, the more money the Hollywood actors will make. You see what I'm saying, huh? Obviously. So the small ASUs are going to make probably on average about that 800 million, million five, two million range for the royalties. Three million maybe? Around there for the royalties. The 2.5 million the small ASUs are going to make for the royalties. Whereas the bigger ones are going to make their tens of millions. Their 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 plus million dollar range are going to make. And royalties the bigger ones. It just depends how much money me and VJ make. See what I'm saying? 30, 40 million dollar range. Yeah, they're going to make a lot of money the bigger ones. And with the royalties, I'm now easily beating out Hollywood. I'm easily competing with Hollywood. See what I'm saying? Like I told you, my movies are going to gross way more money than these Hollywood movies. As these, oh, these Hollywood movies only do like... Uh, the big movies only do like a billion, two billion, three billion in Hollywood. Whereas my movies, you're, just, you're looking at like tens of billions. 20, 30 billion, 40 billion dollars in sales. Something crazy. It beats out. It's going to blow. My movie's going to blow the box office of Avengers out of the water, man. Like, Avengers did like 3 billion almost. Thank you. My movie's going to do tens of billions, guys, in the box office. Before I said 11 million dollars, no, I'm mistaken. You're looking at like 20, you know what I'm saying? 25, 30, 45, 35 billion dollars in the box office for, for my movies, man. Something crazy. Because I can't have the whole world ordering it. Yeah, man. You're looking at something fucking crazy, man. That's why all these actors and directors, my 17, they're all going to strike it rich. But I told you, even though they're going to make a lot of money, these actors, there's nothing about how much me and Vijay are going to make. As me and Vijay are taking home 60% of the pot, you see what I'm saying? Huh? And we're worth it because we're God and we're the main show. Whereas these actors are not the main show. And that's why they're not getting any more than 1% of the money. I'm taking 1% of my money. I'm splitting with you guys. I'm nice enough to do that. And that's it. That's all you're getting. You're not getting any more than that. You know what I'm saying? And John Farrell and Nate Filoni and all these actors are going to... They, they, they won't be... They won't try and get 1%. No, because they know they're not worth it. Okay, you know, Ivan's nice enough to, to take 1% of his money and split it with us. Let's not be greedy and try and get like 1%. We're not worth it. Yes, you're not worth taking 1% of each of my money. You're fucking crazy. I'm not giving you that. Amazon's already taking 4% of the... 39% of the pie. I'm not giving you 60% of my money. No fucking way. Amazon's taking their nice 39%. The 1% is divided with you guys, and me and VJ take our 60%. So I'm, I was nice enough to take 1% of my money to pay you guys a lot of money to keep you happy. That is it. I'm not going hard enough for you guys. That's good enough. As the amount of money I'm paying you, Hollywood actors, the amount of money I'm paying you guys is more than how much Hollywood pay, pays you guys on average for your fucking salaries. And I'm paying you your nice rich salary, and as well, I'm giving you a nice piece of the pie. I'm giving you a good deal. You see what I'm saying, I'm giving you a good deal. Obviously. So let's talk about Zayas again. I'll talk for a good 26 minutes here, guys, and I'll, I'll have I'll have a smoke outside. And I'm gonna, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll wake I'll set my alarm for four o'clock. I'll wake up at four and I'll make my next video. And you guys will enjoy this show while I sleep, obviously. So what I'll do is when I wake up at 4 o'clock, I will not watch my video right away. I'll make my video right away. Then I'll watch this video that I'm making right now, obviously. And then afterwards, I'll watch my later video at nighttime when I, when I get my beer and my smokes at the store. And I'll enjoy the show. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm only going to make a one-hour video for this video, guys, because I'm tired. 
It's coming at nine o'clock. I already, I just recently made a, 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 my recent video early in the morning, and I'm tired. I'm nice to do a marathon for a three video marathon. That's it. I'm tired. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Obviously, get a drink of water, and I'm gonna what? I'll pull this video, and you guys will enjoy this show while you're finishing my recent video I made earlier this morning. Right now, as I speak, right. So let's talk about Zanus. I have a lot of things in my mind I want to talk about for Zanus and Peter Jackson and all them and, and my Lord and my Lord of the Rings. I have a lot of things in my mind. Remember what I talked about in my last video? I have a lot of things in my mind I want to talk about. Obviously. Okay, so Peter Jackson. When you watch this video and you're excited, I'm saying I'm going to be hiring either you or Mel Gibson. I'm talking to you when you guys watch this video. I'm going to be hiring one of you guys to direct my last Hope for Zanus movie project. I'm willing to pay Mel Gibson $56 million for the role. That's a good paycheck for him. As most directors know, we don't make that. Christopher Nolan doesn't even make $56 million. Christopher Nolan, I heard, makes on average $20 million for his movies. And he gets a piece of the pie, obviously. I'm going to pay uh, Mel Gibson $56 million. Obviously, he gets his $2,000 gift card too, obviously. He gets his $300 gas card, which is nice. He gets his uh, $60,000 worth of commercial money. So I'll pay Mel Gibson $30,000 for the one commercial the first year, and I'll pay him $30,000 for the fourth commercial the fourth year. Pay him 30 So he gets sixty k for two commercials, and I'll give him 0.5% of the royalties. Mel Gibson. For my Zanus movie, it's a good patient for him. He's walking away with millions in his bank. You get your rich $56, $56 million, and you get your tens of millions of dollars in royalties for, for, for my movie. I don't know how much he'll make, but he'll make his tens of millions. That's all I know. He'll make his tens of millions, Mel Gibson. His 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 50 million bucks, 60 million bucks he'll make in royalties. It just depends how much money me and BJ make. He'll make a lot of money, Mel Gibson. It's a good deal for him, obviously. And he'll be the co-executive producer, co-writer, and director for my movie. And I'll give him full power. He'll be the boss of my movie. And I'm going to tell my guest, Mel Gibson, the magic you did for Passion of Christ and Hacksaw Ridge, I want you doing that. And Braveheart, I want you doing that for Zanus. Tell him that the way he knows. And, 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 and Mel Gibson has all these ideas for my movies. That's what's going to be a hard choice between him and, uh, and Peter Jackson. And Peter Jackson, because he's bigger than Mel Gibson, I'll pay him. Mel Gibson used to be worth almost a billion dollars, but I heard his wealth went down because um, I heard Mel Gibson owns a lot of land around the world. And I heard his what? His stock for his land went down, obviously. That's why Mel Gibson's net, net worth dropped. His net, I heard Mel Gibson, he owns like a lot of land around the world, man. He owns like hundreds, thousands of acres worth of land around the world, Mel Gibson. I heard his property of land, his, his 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 worth of his land property went down. That's why his net worth went down, I believe, the four hundred million. Because he used to, I used to, I checked Mel Gibson's net worth like like six seven years ago. He used to be worth like eight hundred million dollars, almost a billion dollars, and his net worth went down to four hundred million dollars. I think it's because of his land. Because I heard Mel Gibson owns a lot of acres, a lot of land around the world, like like thousands, like thousands of, of acres of land he owns around the world. And his property net worth went down or something like that. That's why he's worth like $400 million. But he's still big though. But he's not as big as Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson, he's worth like a billion dollars. Because Peter Jackson, he owns stock in Weta, in Weta Workshop. And he sold it. He sold his Weta Workshop company. He owned stock in Weta Workshop. And he made like $400, $500 million off that deal. That's why he's now worth like a billion bucks. A billion plus bucks, man. Peter Jackson's big. And that's why I'm paying him more than Mel Gibson. I'll pay him as rich $85 million. That's good enough for him. Which is like $106 million in New Zealand money. That's a good paycheck for Peter Jackson. He gets his $2,000 gift card when filming is completed. Obviously. And he gets his uh his $3,500 gas card. A year's worth of gas. Nice deal for Peter Jackson. Obviously, he gets his $60,000 worth of commercial money too. I'll have Peter Jackson do one commercial the first year. Pay him $30,000 for it. That way he works hard. You pay, give him another three thousand dollars for the for, for the second commercial, the fourth year. It's a good deal for Peter Jackson, obviously. And both Mel Gibson and Peter Jackson get the perks of my company, obviously. 
the buffet, the limo driver, luxury hotel stay, the luxuries, the luxuries of my of my Sky Source company, working in the studio office, special effects unit building, a nice building, obviously. You know what I'm saying? The parties in my yard and my condo, they get all those nice perks. You see what I'm saying? And Peter Jackson will be the uh, will be competing for the executive producing job, the co-writing job, and the directing job of my company. And I'll have I'll ask him and Mel Gibson a series of questions. I'm gonna test their creativity, and me and Vijay are gonna determine who is better for the job. And so I'm gonna have this big talk with my team, with John Favreau, Dave Filoni, whoever I hire, right, and George Lucas. I'm gonna talk with those. Those three guys are enough. Have that talk with them. I'm gonna play the footage. Okay, who do you think is better for the job, guys? You guys watch the video of me interviewing Mel Gibson and Peter Jackson. Who do you think is better for the job, guys? You see what I'm saying? And you, you see, you see what? You see uh, John Favreau and Filoni and George Lucas. Like, I don't know, Ivan. That's tough, man. They're both really good. Yeah. But something tells me they're going to tell me, Ivan, even though Mel Gibson uh, is good for your movie, man, Peter Jackson did that masterpiece of the Rings. On top of that, 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 what, that no trilogy can top, obviously. Yeah, but Mel Gibson did Passion of Christ, guys, too. Passion of Christ is a masterpiece, guys. Yeah, Passion of Christ is a masterpiece, Ivan. But man, Lord of the Rings is, is a fucking masterpiece, Ivan. Peter Jackson did, he, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he fucking, he, he, what, he directed that masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Mel Gibson's more consistent than Peter Jackson, guys. He did Braveheart. He did Hacksaw Ridge. He did what? He did, he did, he did, he did Passion Christ, which Peter Jackson's only known for Lord of the Rings. And The Hobbit trilogy wasn't that good. Mortal Engines wasn't that great. You know what I'm saying? King Kong was okay. It was pretty good. Mel Gibson has more consistency with his movies. Yeah, Mel Gibson has more consistency with his movies, but Peter Jackson directed the best movie children ever made. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's tough. You see what I'm saying? No, so, but something tells me they're going to tell me to choose Peter Jackson. Because Peter Jackson directed the Lord, the Lord of the Rings masterpiece, man. You know, I have, even though Mel Gibson's your man, man, I think you should choose Peter Jackson. But something tells me VG might tell me Mel Gibson's the best man for the job. I mean, I think you should go with Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's a Christian, a supposed Christian, right? He's a man of faith. He did that Passion of Christ movie. He would have a lot of great ideas for the horror, you know, the wolves and the bats. And the biblical symbolism of your of your Zena story, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Mel Gibson is good for the horror of Zanus. The Cursed South, the horror of the demon wolves, and the bats, obviously, and the biblical symbolism of the Zanus story. Taki's symbolism of Jesus, Eric the symbolism of the devil, he's good for that. But not really the world building, obviously. Whereas Peter Jackson's per for the world building, because he created the world of Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings. You have the beings in Lord of the Rings, the orcs. You know what I'm saying? The Goblin and the Hobbit. You know what I'm saying? The Orc High. He's in the war. In the other rings. But Mel Gibson's also good for war too because you have Hacksaw Ridge. He did Hacksaw Ridge and Braveheart. And so both are good. I'm trying to kind of 